Hello friends, welcome to our channel Live in Germany. So this is your Arun. For those who are new to the channel, please do take the extra second to subscribe. So this is part of our student series. So today I'm going to talk about like one of the options I found from one of the students. Like there is a real cheap option if you want to fly from India to Germany for this semester because now you'll be going for visa interviews and the dates will be very short. So you'll book like before three or four weeks. So because of this, the prices will be normally high in the normal websites. So I found a website which uh, which will uh, give you a very good offer, I guess. And uh, let's move on. So before we move on to the actual section, so this series of students will give you all the information you require, all the forms you require till you reach here and do your visa extension. So please keep in mind and forward to your friends. So the topic is cheapest flight to Germany available currently and uh, the section for those who are new, we always have a words of the day section. So today's words are the Reise. So the Reise is a feminine word. It means travel and then the Flug, which means flight, which is a masculine word. And the third word is the Reise Pass, which is passport. You require your, your Reise Pass to travel. So in case if they ask you on the counter Reise Pass, please don't get confused. It's your passport. And the next word is Das Visum or Visa. So it's a neutral word. So these are the four words concerning our video also today. So let's move on to the actual content. So hello friends, this is the section we are waiting for. The website is called eastmytrip.com. I think most of us already know this website, but there is a new thing which I want to tell you. So first of all, they have really good offers for those who fly the first time. And I found uh, a company offers from this website with two other websites, like the real websites. And I found a difference like this was new to me also. So actually when you're traveling from India to Germany, you can actually enter this call QYG. It made Germany rail. I'll tell you what it is later. So I enter the date as 110 uh, 2019. So you can enter from other cities. I'm just giving this because I uh, thought it'd be uh, a common example. Yeah. So if you're going to Frankfurt, then maybe it is not applicable. But from anywhere other than Frankfurt, you're going to Germany. You can actually use this. I'll show you how it works. So if you like Air India or Emirates, doesn't matter. But if it's Air India, uh, like it's cost 27,925. And then when you come down, you can see it goes all the way from Chennai to Bombay and then Bombay to Frankfurt. So your final destination in Germany will be Frankfurt always. And from Frankfurt, uh, you get this rail and flight ticket. So the purpose of rail and flight ticket is anyone who travels uh, a flight before that, they can take this ticket and then they can travel anywhere in Germany to their location. So you can, if you're traveling first time, uh, you can go to Frankfurt and then you can move from Frankfurt to any city using the high speed trains, for example. So the time given is just like uh, the the closest train, I guess, if, if, if I'm not wrong. So this can be used on, on um, almost any train, I guess, if I'm not wrong. And uh, you can, it is also given for Emirates if you don't like uh, Air India or you like uh, Emirates more, you can still uh, use this opportunity. So the difference is if you're going from Chennai to Munich, what I found the other websites, let me go to the other two websites I uh, compact, Air India. So on the same day for 46 kilograms and uh, same destination like Chennai to Munich uh, was my idea. So it was roughly around 51,655. So since we are coming first time, we don't see the price and we see it's good weight and uh, we might take a, a chance of paying high and end up paying high. Uh, the next one was in Emirates also the lowest price I could find from Chennai to Munich was 43,049. So comparatively if we land at um, Frankfurt and then we travel using this rail and fly, I think it's much cheaper because even if you take a flight to Frankfurt by yourself and then book a train, I think it will be costlier. So comparatively when you take this as a package, you get a very good option. So this is almost like if you take 50,000 and 27,000, it is almost half the price. So if you're not going to Frankfurt, like your so final destination, but going to say Stuttgart or Berlin, you can actually use this if I'm not wrong. So I think if there are other tips from anybody else, please do share. Uh, so this was the input. So let's go to the next section and thank you for watching. So I hope this video was useful for you. So I also made a documentation of it in the blog spot. So this is a blog spot. It will be having all the news. So for this, I have uh, added the link of the blog spot. Possibly you can have a look at the description of this uh, video there.
for everybody who's uh, interested and also other information related to Germany right from entry till you leave Germany everything is available there and will be updated regularly so thanks for watching the video please join us on Facebook uh, Twitter Instagram and Reddit so join the group you can type it at live in Germany and you will find it so thanks for watching see you in the next interesting video which will be useful for you until then it's bye bye from Arun ciao